only 1.5 billion people speak English. So if you're only making English videos, there's 6.5 billion people you're not reaching who speak other languages. And with YouTube right now adding multiple language supports, automated dubbing that can translate our videos into as many languages as possible is more important than ever. The AI tool I found automatically dubs your videos into 75 languages while also making sure it still sounds like you speaking. For example, here's the tool automatically dubbing that sentence I just said into Italian. Lo strumento AI che ho trovato doppia automaticamente i tuoi video in 75 lingue assicurandoti anche che suoni ancora come se parlassi. You're probably wondering what's the tool and how does it work? I'll be breaking that down today, so let's dive in. So to understand how to do video translations, we first need to know the translation process inside the tool, and secondly, how to create our own voice in the tool. We'll start with the translation process. So if you click the link in the description to this video and create an account, you'll see this screen here. We need to click this button to upload our video and begin the translation process. You can see that I've now selected this short video of Mr. Beast that I want translated. Platform's telling me that it's 33 megabytes and one minute long. And now I'll click this button down here to upload that video as I can see that the video is the correct video I want translated. Now that we've selected our video, we need to tell the AI that we want the audio in that video translated and also the language we want the video translated into. So I'll make sure this button here is ticked rather than this one on the right as the left box tells the tool that I want the audio translated as well as the subtitles and not just the subtitles. I then come down and select the original language that the video is in. So in this case, it was English. I'll just select that. And then over here, we choose the target language that we want the video translated into. There's 75 languages to choose from. And for this video, we're going to go with Mandarin Chinese. Now that we've chosen the video's target language, we need to choose the voice that is going to speak the new language. And we do that with this click box here. You can see that the preset voice bow has currently been chosen. And if we click this speaker here, we can get a preview of any voice that we might be thinking of choosing. I'll just click this on Chen. Hey, you're Here's Dan. Hey, you're Let's go for Anne. So now we've told the tool that we want the audio translated. We've told it the original language and the target language we want it translated into. And we've also chosen the voice preset that we want to speak our translation. The next part of the translation process is to have the tool analyze that video and take us closer to that finished translation. So we just click the translate button here next to have the tool start doing its thing. And now we're waiting for the AI to study that original video, understand what was originally being said in English, and to translate what was said into that chosen language of Chinese. This just takes a couple of minutes maximum. When that finishes, we see this screen next with the original words that were spoken in the original language on the left and the translation on the right broken down by individual sentences. We can scroll down and see that whole video has been translated. And if we press this play icon down here at the bottom, we can preview our whole video in the new translated language. So let's hear that in Chinese for a little bit. I just press play. Oh, 对了,我已经有了一个. 他们没有关闭开关。and the incredible thing you would have just seen in that translated clip is the original video had an alarm going off in the background under the English speaking. And when the AI did the translation, the alarm noise stayed in the video and it just replaced the audio with Chinese. It maintained those background noises to make it sound even more realistic. And another amazing thing we can do now the video has been translated to one language is we can quickly translate this video to multiple other languages. To do that, you just press the add button here and then choose the next target language we want the video translated to from this list right here. We'll choose French this time. And by quickly repeating this process to add a new language each time, we'll soon have a long list of languages that our video has been translated into. So we can press play on this sentence to hear the translation. 
Tais-toi, s'il te plaît. Je suis vraiment fatigué. Ça fait déjà une longueur. But you would have noticed in that translation that it wasn't speaking French in my voice. And that's because I haven't created my voice within the platform so that it's choosable when I'm selecting from that list of voices. So now I'll show you how to add your voice to the tool so that after your videos have been translated, they still sound like you. So we need to click instant cloning over here on the left hand side to begin. And this is the area that we create our cloned voice within the tool. So to start, we need to give a name for the voice we're creating. So I'm going to type my name in here. My gender is already selected in this drop down box here. So just move on to the next screen. And next, there's two steps where we need to record our voice. First is giving consent for the tool to actually create a copy of our voice. And secondly, is reading a short script so that the tool can study our voice and accurately create a duplicate. So here's the first area where we need to give consent. So to record our voice, we just need to click this box here and record ourselves reading this sentence out here at the top. Next up, we need to record the script sample by doing the same thing. So press this record my voice button here, record yourself reading this script and then go through to the next screen. And once that process is finished, whenever you get to a translation screen like the one we see now, you're going to be able to choose your own voice. I'll just show you my voice here. If I scroll down, we can see that the voice I created, Greg, is now an option to be chosen. I'll use this clone voice that I've created to now translate this video to Hindi and press this button here to get the translation. And now that that's finished, if I press play on this video again, we should hear the translation in my own voice. Let's give that a try. This technology blows my mind, seriously. Think about it. With automated dubbing, you could take your whole YouTube backlog, pop them into this tool and upload those brand new translations to your old video, instantly making your content accessible to more people, potentially 6.5 billion more people if you're English speaking. Great, so now you know why it's so powerful. Let's run through what the tool is and where you can find it. So I found the tool here on this AppSumo website, which I'll pop a link to below in the description to this video. You'll see the tool is called translate.video and it dubs your videos into over 75 languages. There's a 90% off promotion at the moment for a lifetime deal. So by paying once, I now have lifetime access to this tool, which I thought was pretty cool. Don't know how long the promotion's on for, but I'll link you through to the AppSumo website, like I said, in the description to this video. If you want it yourself, the tool's called translate.video. If you liked how this AI tool could help you get more views of your video content, I've got a whole playlist on AI tools that can help you get more attention and more views. So make sure to watch this playlist next. And also, obviously, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later.